And I was like, whoa, this girl is something else. <laughs> <laughs> We started working together in 2015? Uh, no, like 2016. End of 2015. Okay, yeah. I was a sub coach in Luxembourg. Well, we met the week before Indian Wells of 2015. I went to LA to practice with somebody. Then they ended up playing doubles together at Indian Wells. And it was very entertaining dinners at Ruth's Chris. Communication. Five minutes of fury when you can just say whatever it is that you want without hurting the other person's feelings. And being your coach, being like your therapist sometimes too, without judging you. So I would say understanding, empathy, respect. Our communication style is, well, when we're not together, we call each other on the phone, or we text, or send memes on Instagram, or whatever. We have like a group chat. I'd say any way that you can communicate, we do. When we're not in the same city, we text and send memes, and if it's really juicy, then we call. And when we are in the same city, it's probably more text, and then more conversation the day of a match. Match day communication is like normal. I think once you get kind of like, you have like a structure, we kind of know what we do every time. Like we like schedule our day the night before, all of our times, we figure everything out, like probably like a dinner the night before. Um, and then wake up in the morning, probably like talk about the game plan a little bit more, just kind of like go over it, talk about what we did the night before. Did you finish all your boba? What did you like? Did you have any snacks before bed? <laughs> um, and then, yeah, you just come and you warm up, kind of just not any more or less than we do every day. I don't know, I feel like if you kind of get too much into a rut, it's hard to get out of. Like in tennis is like very, you never know who you're gonna be in the next round. You never know how that can like change your year or sometimes even change your career. So I feel like, as long as you're able to like manage and not get like too happy or too sad, um, you'll be okay. At the end of the day, the day got in. Yeah. <laughs> when I lose, they got in. <laughs> I think you manage the ups with humility because there's another week next week. And I think you manage the downs with hope and belief because you gotta like reset and rebuild the player's confidence for the next week. Sloan's pet peeve is talking too much. Yes, and Kamal's pet peeve is not listening to him, which I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Kamal's definitely more competitive than I am, like 1,000%. He oh, doesn't yeah. sleep after losses. I sleep like a baby. He is like <laughs> up all night. I'm like, uh uh, no. The best advice I have received from Kamal, probably when I'm losing terribly, I was losing a match terribly, and he's like, you're doing great, sweetie. So yeah, just when things are getting tough, just keep going. Sloan has taught me patience. <laughs>